Imagine a world without rock music. Hard to do, isn't it? But there was a time when such a world existed. Picture it, the 1950s, a post-war era brimming with potential, yet musically something was missing. This was the era that birthed rock and roll, a genre that would forever change the landscape of music. The birth of rock and roll was not a singular event, but the result of a fusion, a blending of flavors from existing genres. It was a cocktail of gospel's soulful passion, blues' raw emotion, and the heartbeat of country music. This new sound was like a lightning bolt, electrifying audiences and musicians alike. Now let's talk about the pioneers, the trailblazers who dared to tap into this electrifying energy. Elvis Presley, a name synonymous with rock and roll, was a major player in pushing this new genre into the mainstream. With his swiveling hips and magnetic charisma, Elvis was not just a musician, but a phenomenon. Then there was Chuck Berry, the man with a guitar who could make it talk, sing, and almost walk. His innovative style and rhythm became the blueprint for many rock guitarists that would follow. Berry wasn't just playing music. He was creating an entire language that would be spoken globally. And let's not forget Little Richard, the architect of rock and roll. With his flamboyant style and powerful vocals, he broke down barriers and pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in music and performance. His influence is imprinted on the DNA of rock and roll, his spirit pulsating through its very core. These pioneers didn't just play music, they shaped a movement, gave voice to a generation, and in doing so, they changed the world. And so, rock and roll was born, ready to shake the world with its rebellious spirit. The 1960s marked an era of cultural revolution, and at its heart was the British invasion. This seismic shift in the music world saw the rise of British bands who would go on to redefine the genre of rock and roll, and their influence continues to resonate today. Leading the charge were the Beatles, a quartet from Liverpool who burst onto the scene in 1964 with their unique blend of rock and pop. They were more than just a band, they were a cultural phenomenon. Their innovative songwriting, which combined catchy melodies with introspective lyrics, transformed the landscape of rock music and inspired countless musicians to follow in their footsteps. Then there were the Rolling Stones. Their raw energy, rebellious spirit and bluesy rock sound provided a stark contrast to the polished pop tunes of the Beatles. They were the bad boys of the British invasion embodying the edgier, more provocative side of rock music, and their impact was just as profound. The Stones songs, filled with gritty guitar riffs and provocative lyrics, served as a blueprint for the hard rock and heavy metal genres that would emerge later. But the British invasion wasn't just about the Beatles and the Rolling Stones. It was a wave that brought a deluge of British bands to American shores, each leaving their own mark on the music scene. Bands like The Who, The Kinks, and The Yardbirds introduced new sounds and styles, pushing the boundaries of what rock music could be. These bands didn't just conquer the American music scene, they transformed it. They brought a fresh perspective to rock and roll, infusing it with a unique British sensibility. Their music was innovative, their lyrics were evocative, and their performances were electrifying. They changed how people thought about rock music, how it was made, and how it was consumed. The British invasion not only changed the face of rock music, but also left an indelible mark on the world. It was more than a musical movement. It was a cultural revolution that continues to shape the music landscape today. As the 1970s rolled in, rock music began to diversify and evolve. The decade was a melting pot of creativity, that saw the birth of numerous subgenres, each with its own distinctive flavor and style. Progressive rock, or prog rock, was one of the first to make its mark. Bands like Pink Floyd dared to push boundaries, creating intricate, sprawling compositions that defied the conventional verse-chorus structure. Their music was characterized by experimental soundscapes and philosophical lyrics. Albums like The Dark Side of the Moon and Wish You Were Here became timeless classics, showcasing the genre's depth and complexity. On the other end of the spectrum, punk rock was the rebellious teenager of the rock family. It was raw, aggressive, and unapologetically loud. Bands like the Ramones stripped rock music down to its bare bones, 
delivering short, fast-paced songs that resonated with the dissatisfaction and angst of youth. Their no-frills approach to music was a stark contrast to the polished productions of mainstream rock, and it sparked a cultural revolution that continues to influence music today. Then there was heavy metal, a genre that took rock's intensity and turned it up to 11. Led Zeppelin, often credited as one of the pioneers of heavy metal, crafted epic songs with powerful riffs and soaring vocals. Their music was a heady blend of blues, folk and hard rock elements that captivated audiences worldwide. It was the birth of a genre that would later spawn bands like Black Sabbath and Iron Maiden, shaping the future of rock music. Each of these subgenres offered something unique adding new layers to the rich tapestry of rock music. They challenged the status quo, pushing the boundaries of what was possible within the realm of rock. And in doing so, they not only expanded the genre but also deepened its impact, influencing countless artists and shaping the cultural landscape. The 70s proved that rock music was not a fad but a force to be reckoned with. It was a decade of innovation and evolution, a testament to the enduring appeal and transformative power of rock music. From the 1980s to the present, rock music has continued to adapt and thrive. As we moved past the flamboyant hair and glam rock of the 80s, the 90s heralded a shift towards a more introspective and raw sound. This was the dawn of alternative rock and grunge, a time when music was a reflection of the angst and the rebellion of a generation. Alternative rock, a broad umbrella term for a multitude of subgenres, challenged the mainstream with its unconventional ethos. Bands like Radiohead, with their experimental sound and thought-provoking lyrics, pushed the boundaries of what rock music could be. Their seminal album, OK Computer, with its fusion of electronic music and rock, became a touchstone for the genre. Parallel to the rise of alternative rock, grunge emerged from the rainy city of Seattle, Washing away the excesses of the 80s, grunge was the sound of disaffection, and no band personified it better than Nirvana. Fronted by the enigmatic Kurt Cobain, Nirvana's raw energy and introspective lyrics spoke to a generation grappling with its identity. Their breakout hit, Smells Like Teen Spirit, is still hailed as one of the greatest rock songs of all time. As we moved into the new millennium, indie rock began to gain traction. Straying from the polished sound of mainstream rock, indie rock bands prided themselves on their DIY ethos and authenticity. The White Stripes, with their minimalist approach to rock, became one of the flag bearers of the genre. Their raw and stripped down sound, exemplified in tracks like Seven Nation Army, resonated with listeners craving authenticity. So here we are in the modern era of rock, a genre that has continually reinvented itself while staying true to its rebellious roots. It has given voice to generations, sparked movements, and created anthems that have stood the test of time. Despite the changes in the music industry, rock music remains a powerful and beloved genre. From its rebellious beginnings to its countless evolutions, rock music has left an undeniable legacy. This legacy is not just in the music industry, but extends to our culture, fashion, and even our attitudes. Let's look back at some of the key points we've covered. Rock and roll emerged in the 50s, blending elements of blues, jazz, and country music. It was rebellious, it was loud, and it was unlike anything anyone had ever heard before. Then came the British invasion, led by bands like the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, who redefined what rock music could be and took it to new heights of popularity. Over the decades, rock music continued to evolve, morphing into countless sub-genres. From the psychedelic rock of the 60s to the glam rock of the 70s, the punk and new wave of the 80s, the grunge of the 90s, and the indie rock of the new millennium. Rock music has not only shaped other genres of music, but also influenced our culture and fashion. From the leather jackets and skinny jeans of the rock and roll era, to the grunge look of the 90s, rock has always had a major impact on fashion trends. And let's not forget the cultural shifts it has brought about. Rock music has always been a symbol of rebellion, of pushing boundaries and challenging the status quo. Rock music is more than a genre. It's a testament to the power of creativity and the enduring spirit of rebellion. That concludes our journey through the history of rock music.
We're grateful you've joined us on this ride, resonating with the beats, riffs, and raw power of rock and roll. We hope this has sparked your curiosity to delve deeper into the rich tapestry of rock music. Unearth hidden gems, seek out the classics, and let the music move you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more, and share your favorite rock music moments in the comments below. Keep rocking!